Hello and welcome back to the podcast. I am your host, Michelle. If you are new here, make a noise. If you are new here, this is the Black Eye Podcast. Yes, it is. It is the Black Eye Podcast. It's been a while since we spoke. I don't know if I'm going to release that other video that I just made. So I will. We will see. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. I am a little bit diminished, but I am better. Thank you for asking. It was a bad stomach. I don't know, bug or something nobody else in the house was sick but me and <laughs> i don't know one of my friends was telling me it was a spiritual warfare i think i talked about that before and i told her no 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 i don't want to talk about spiritual warfares i don't talk about spiritual warfares i'm not one of those people who you know beats drums and does all that kind of stuff that's not me so, that was Wednesday. She mentioned it. Thursday, I felt okay. Friday morning at exactly 1 o'clock, I was in the depths of despair. Doubled up on the bed, cramps, everything. Just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And uh, I didn't go to sleep until, oh, I don't know, five or six o'clock Friday morning and I slept the whole day away and did not wake up until late latish Saturday morning so it was a vicious vicious ride I mean I didn't want to acknowledge spiritual warfare but considering what I was going through it it was something it definitely was something I definitely won't discount it. Let's put it. Anyways, I will never discount uh, spiritual warfare. I, I tell you that. I, it's not, I'm not taking it off the table because that was rough. And uh, thank God I was able to recover. Uh, by Wednesday, what, well, Tuesday, I was okay. Wednesday, a little bit better. And Thursday, all right. But, um, uh, excuse me, a little bit diminished, but I'm here. So today I wanted to react to a video that was going viral. Actually, it was just a snippet of a video that was going viral online uh, from a podcast called Change Tomorrow Today or something like that. Change Today Tomorrow or something. It's it's a small podcast, uh, surprisingly. You know, I'm walking around, <laughs> walking around, like I'm walking through these actual YouTube streets. But, you know, you go through YouTube, and sometimes these people, these uh, content creators, they talk as if they have 50 or 60,000 subscribers, and you go to look at their subscriber count. Not that it matters because the content is really good. But you're, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely in shock when I see the subscriber count because I was thinking it sh should be more. It definitely should be more. And of course, it inspires me to want to make better content myself. So I just want to take some time to thank people who watch the videos. I do appreciate you. Uh, just knowing that people listen to me and hopefully get me is in itself something of oh, my hair. What is going on? It looks like I didn't even brush it. All right, whatever. I'm not even going to look at it now. <laughs> now now I can't unsee it because I messed with it. Okay. So what was I doing? I was thanking people who wish me well, uh, thanking people who watch my content, thanking people who were there for me. I do appreciate that. I know that in this huge platform, this humongous platform, Anyone who takes the time to come back on a steady basis to watch me is very much appreciated. I know how hard that is to come by. So I just wanted to stop and give you a shout out and tell you thank you. Thank you very much. So without further ado, we are going to get into this video. Now, 
this video isn't very long, but I have some responses to the dude that is in it. Um, it's a pretty lively discussion. It's about single parenting and dating as a single parent. And I thought it was a good enough discussion to, um, to react to because it's something that people don't talk about much, usually in the manosphere and all around. Uh, it's mostly discouraged uh, for women to date with children. So I felt that the the conversation was well balanced, and you know you had plenty of intelligent people there, um, three. But um, something that I like to share with you. So without further ado, let's get into the video and that viral moment dun, dun, dun. so the lady picture here it i don't know this man's name but i do like him and then there's the other guy i don't know his name his guy right here he's going to say some stuff that's going to get on your nerves so i want you to be prepared not st stuff that you haven't heard before he you know, am I? He's a uh, he's a red pill Bible guy. You know, so that's going to be interesting. And uh, they're going to discuss single parenting, and it's going to be an interesting conversation. You know what I do? I stop. I talk. I put my two cents into it. Um, I have uh, some new equipment, so I will be trying that out, and uh, hopefully. You have a good time and you enjoyed the discussion. Don't forget to like the video. Why is my nose just going right now? Oh, my God. Don't forget to like the video, please, if you like it. And comment. Tell me what you think. I'm always interested in other people's thoughts. So what you think, what I missed, if the conversation was good. Also, do subscribe. Um, this is encouraging. If you subscribe, then I know that I can make these other more videos like this and will fight to do so. So, again, without further ado, this time, let's get into the video. Easy? Is it hard? Because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so, go ahead. You want to talk here. about something you don't know. I want to learn. I'm not, I really want to learn. You know what I'm saying? So, what is like dating as a single parent, male and female? So go ahead. Um... I actually just started kind of dating. Okay. So I wouldn't. Oh, you were off the market. Right. For a long time. Okay. Mm. So dating as a single parent is a little difficult to say. Um, but beyond that, I think it's difficult for me to say because I don't have the same experiences as most people. What do you mean? Um, I mean, I'm a single parent. Yes. But I have a nice village that's very helpful mm -hmm. so it doesn't kind of interfere with my dating what do you mean by that you mean like the kid i just want to stop and just tell you that i really admire vic uh she has become my new girl hero i i just admire her smart uh you know just i hope you love her as much as i do because she is just fantastic i just wanted to stop and say that because she She's just on point. Yes. I should give her an applause, but I'll wait. Yes? Yeah. Right. When you have a good village, you have good people around you that, you know, mm -hmm. you can count on. It makes it a little bit easier when you're dating because you don't have to work around so much. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Looking for a sitter and right. stuff like that, trying to be. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, like I would say, when my daughter was very young, I don't, I don't think people really believed I had a daughter. Right. <laughs> because yeah. <laughs> my village was just really great mm -hmm. so um my dad would get her every weekend and from the time she was born up until recent because now she's a teenager she make her she own little decisions, decisions. Okay. That's right. but up until recent um you know her dad used to get her like wednesday through friday so okay. that would leave oh, me fun, what okay. monday and tuesday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which means if oh, i'm dating i have free. wednesday through time. sunday yeah, <laughs> to make time. plans and arrangements okay. <laughs> so that's mondays fair. and that's tuesdays fair. was off limits right okay so okay. I'm just now entering the single parenting dating realm now okay. that I have Miguel. Okay. And even though I still have my village, it's not the same. I'm a little older. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now it's now it's making arrangements. It's like, okay. whoa, yeah, this is hard. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> well, I mean, I can speak generally. I can speak in general or whatever. No, I no, want... no, 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 no. We're gonna speak direct, brother. <laughs> I want. I want. I want. No, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. I want the nitty gritty. I want to hear. Cause, listen, man. I, I gotta live vicariously through you, right. bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel okay. I'll say this. You know, I for me personally, um, dating is not. Um, dating is not. Um, it's not complex for me okay. because one, I don't have any restrictions. Right. Okay, okay. Um, and by that, by me saying that, yes, I do have older kids. So no, but we mean how was how was dating when you were when your kids were younger? When they were younger, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. When my kids were younger, when I was dating, it was a little bit. It was a little bit of a challenge. Um, because of course I have yeah. kids and the other individuals didn't have kids, so they didn't understand oh, yeah. the importance of me helping my children do their homework, putting them to bed or maybe cooking dinner for them to make sure that they were okay. And sometimes I used to get a lot of backlash attitude. Really? Yeah, yeah of course, because, you know. Well, yeah, I'm going to talk about uh, when I was out in the market. I didn't date men with children either. But I didn't date men with children because I thought that, you know, they were marginalized in any way. That wasn't the reason why. I just felt that parenting was paramount. And as a parent, you know, uh, you know, dating another I wasn't a parent then, but as, you know, dating a parent, the thought never crossed my mind that the child wouldn't come first. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if little Marquise and we're dressed to go to this beautiful, fabulous, wonderful restaurant. And little Marquise, just, you know, not that he decides, but he's sick. And mom has to go to work. Of course he's going to go and spend time with his son or his children. Of course. Since I was a single person with no responsibilities, I felt that it would be wrong of me to put myself in a position where I would not, where, you know, the child's sickness would be a nuisance to me. Do you know what I'm saying? So, of course, the child was going to come first. Of course. That's to be expected. But as a person with no children, I didn't want to be second in anybody's life. So, that's why I didn't date men with no children. Also, I didn't want any of the drama. Sometimes the women like to hang on or they get territorial or such and such and such, such and such and such. But I, I didn't really have problems with that. But personally, I just felt that parenting was paramount over dating. And so I didn't want to interfere in that. And I didn't want to be the cause for men abandoning their kids or put them in a position to feel it, that, um, you know, it's either me or them, which they shouldn't be. But you'd be surprised. So personally, as a single mother, or as a, I keep saying single mother, I wasn't a single mother at that time. I, as a single person, my God, <laughs> as a single person, I didn't date men with kids. And that's why. Because, you know, why should I have to be concerned about kids? I don't have any. So that may be, and, and I'm just saying that as a course of, that's why single ladies with no children would probably or most likely not want to date men with children well, um sometimes um certain women can be selfish yeah I'm because, that's they're, very right, selfish. Right, because they're not in that position because they don't understand what parenting is so right of course so they used to always get mad oh you're not spending enough time with me you 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 know, and I still mm. like take offense to it or whatever. I'm I actually, time with my kids. Yeah, I have to spend time with my kids. Actually, I actually cut off women um, that came at me like that. Oh, wow. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can say it was difficult when my kids were younger, when I was yeah. dating and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because my kids is my priority. They mm -hmm. come first. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 Wow. I, yeah. So I'm I'm not a person that particularly likes to date people with kids mm. in this. So mm. um <laughs> why is that? Why is that? Um I prefer not to date people with kids because I don't like to deal with drama. 
So okay. I have nothing to do with the kids. I love kids. Okay. Um, but I just don't like to deal with the drama. And usually mm -hmm. they have some form of drama. Even if it's not necessarily like super chaotic or toxic, mm -hmm. it's some form of, you know, you guys have an issue. Okay. Uh, and I don't like to deal with it because I have that those issues. Fair? It's very fair. It, so people always say, say that to me. Like, that's not fair that's not because fair. you have kids, know, right? Come on. But the way I counter that is, <laughs> yes, I have kids, but... I don't have that that dynamic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but I, but I understand, but that's not fair. It you, is because you can't just ask somebody. I'm out. telling you, I don't want to deal with you because of the drama that comes. But if there's along no with, drama, you can't. Nine times out of ten, I was always mm -hmm. right. It's always a, a female lingering with chaos and toxicity, and and it's not. Cause, and I know that because even just when you talk to people, mm -hmm. like I remember being younger, like in my twenties, and I talked to people about me and my daughter's dad's relationship, and they're mm -hmm. like that. It's not like that's not normal, you know, yeah. because we don't have that drama and toxicity. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, I don't want to date nobody with kids because people my age, the mm -hmm. girls are still holding on to this man. And it's mm -hmm. some type of something going on. You can't see a kid. I don't like that. All that drama. I don't want no parts of that. Right. So you're not. I don't you, give that you, drama so, to nobody. So you're not even going to give it a chance. to. See I don't want to. Just because. I'm not saying I'm not going to. I'm just saying it, it got to. You got to have a lot of other wonderful characters. I'm just saying. But I'm saying though. But that's a disqualification. Yeah, back. I don't really want to do. So, so my kids. brother, if you got, if you got a, a child, <laughs> you disqualify. Ain't that something? I love kids though. Like I really love kids. It's just sometimes you, you know, I feel like domestic violence is very serious. Okay. In a lot of these situations these women and men that don't know how to let go mm -hmm. and they feel like the baby mom or the baby dad is supposed to be with them forever mm -hmm. i can't insert myself into a type of chaos like that because mm -hmm. i don't bring that chaos to the body right. well, i don't you, have that type of drama going on i'll tell you what because that's from a female perspective yeah from the male perspective i've heard a lot of times you know even through social media it's a lot of guys that they don't want to date Women with kids, with kids either, right. yeah. Because they feel like now, what's you know. What's that reasoning? Well, I'm saying, but they feel like, what is what? Why should I invest into that situation yeah. when it's not my, my child? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I understand what you say. You're saying. You're saying drama. Though. Well, I, let me let me pick it down. <laughs> yeah, tell, that's not you know a man. Break it down for me. <clears throat> okay. So this is because you're saying so. You know, yeah, yeah. So okay, and and the men that don't date women with kids, I understand where they're coming from because. Don't no man want to play Mr. Cleanup guy, right? Especially mm. if it's a productive, competitive man. Well, why should he come in that situation to clean up that situation? Why not? Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with it. I, because, I get that you saying you don't agree, but I'm right. saying why not? So, dating single moms, right? Let me okay, let me rephrase that. Dating single modern women. This is three questions that I will ask them. What is it that you can offer me that you haven't given to another man? Oh my goodness. That's what I said. What can you offer me that you haven't given to another man? And the reason why I'm saying that because one, you shared your youth, your fertility, and your womb. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I may still have my youth and fertility and my womb and have a couple of kids. I mean, what are you talking about? What? I hope women aren't dating men who talk to them like this. I really hope to God that when you hear somebody talk to you this way and ask you dumbass questions like this, that you get up and walk away. Please. Oh, excuse me. Please tell me. Please tell me that that's what you're doing. Please. 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 Question number one. Oh God! Here he goes. Another man, you shared your wound. You you gave the, you gave another man the biggest honor that you can give him, right? And my second question, my second question to that woman would be like, why didn't work out with the with the father of the kid that, you know what I'm saying? That you no, had no, a kid no, with, or whatever. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you created this family. Mm -hmm. So why should I give up my resources? Sources to take care of your kids, right? Because first of all, why is it that these red pillars, Bible thumpers, always come out of their ass talking about their resources? Don't you think that the woman had resources of her own? If she is a single modern woman, like you say she is, then she most likely is paying her rent, paying a car paying for the things that she needs, paying for the things that her children need. 
So why do you think that the first thing she's thinking about looking at you are, are your resources? I don't understand how that comes into play. My resources. If I have to feel my resources. Then she didn't ask you. She simply didn't ask you. Clean up, man. Clean up what? Because men, we're very territorial, right? Because one, I have to share you with your kids. That is not mine. Mm. And also, I have to share you with the father of your kids. Who is to know what alone. time the father of your kids is on? Because as of late, I've been seeing men been killing other men because they're dealing with their, their exes. You get what I'm saying? Okay. And I don't know if that man may want to cause some harm harm to me yeah you get what i'm saying yeah so i understand everything when men are saying i don't want to date um mother um single mothers with kids or whatever you get yeah. my no, point i get what you're saying i get what you're saying, you know what I'm saying? so, so what's the third so, question so, so and let me ask you this question bro one. if you went to the store would you buy a product would you buy a product that had a broken seal no not you not wouldn't not why you wouldn't buy a product that had somebody because it's already been i don't know what's in there it's the same thing. That's the reason why men so, say they don't want How many times do we have to tell these men that women are not product you can't compare a per a, a product sitting on a shelf with a broken seal to a woman who gave birth to life how does that compute with you why does that compute with you what demon whispers in your ear and tells you that sound that thing equals that thing brother every voice in your head does not need to be in acknowledged silence them because this is ridiculous what are you talking about if the package was and the seal was broken would you buy that is not the same Every thought that comes in your head is not an epiphany. So I don't know why y'all keep using that analogy. But now you see where his mind is. This is why I wanted to share this, this discussion, you know? Because if I'm upset, I have to share it with all of you too. Because I can't believe this guy was saying the things he was saying. That's why I had to come and react to this video because I'm thinking he couldn't have possibly said that in the kind of context that he did. But now I'm beginning to see, oh yeah, he did. He is he is all about that. Oh God. Here we go. You want to date women with kids because you already have been tainted. You already <laughs> shared your wound well, yeah, yeah. with another man. So But are you serious right now? Yes, I'm being very serious. So okay. I'm being very so serious. So to counter to be a counter to mm -hmm. that because it's absolute. I'm oh. So I just hit the wrong button because I'm smart like that. So let me get it back here. But first. Sorry about that. So let's go back to this nonsense he's spewing. You already have been tainted. You already <laughs> shared your wound well, yeah, yeah. with another man. So, but are you serious right now? Yes, I'm being very serious. So, okay. I'm being very so serious. So to counter, to be a counter mm -hmm. to that, because that is absolutely i'm i'm gonna be just i'm gonna keep but, it up but that's some bullshit. and I'm, 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 I'm wait 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 let's give vic her 
her honors right here. Let's give her her flowers. Go, Vic. Get your flowers, girl. Get your flowers. Because that is absolute bullshit. Yes, it is. She called it like she said it. She, she saw it. <laughs> she kept it 100. Yay for Vic. Yes. Yes for Vic. Go ahead, Vic. Cook. I'm going that's some motherfucking bullshit. Hello. Yes, it is. Because I'm gonna say it is because you just said your first question was, well, I'm gonna ask a woman, what can she get? What can you give a woman that you ain't give to another female? Okay. All right. Okay. What can you but no okay, no 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 Okay, go ahead. What can you give another female that you haven't? What can you give this woman that you haven't given to another female? Why does it have to be that a woman have to bring you something? I'm not. Who the fuck are you? That I gotta bring you something. Hello? Okay. What are you bringing to me? Okay. It goes both. Wait, wait. Let her get her flowers. What are you bringing? Why is a woman gonna bring you stuff? Why does she have to bring you stuff? Go ahead, Vic. Go ahead, Vic. ways i thought now that's one now two you're saying well you don't know what that circumstance could be what that situation could be so are you speaking from a standpoint of a man who does not have kids just yet both. or See? you can't speak from both and the reason i'm gonna say you can't mm -hmm. is because just as you're a man if if you are a man mm -hmm. that has children mm -hmm. to say that to a woman mm -hmm. that has children mm -hmm. it almost sounds no, not almost. It's narcissistic as hell. Mm -hmm. Because if you've given another woman kids, who mm -hmm. are you to ask a woman what you got to offer me because you gave a nigga kids? Did mm -hmm. you not give another woman kids? So what happened with that family that you were building? Okay. Why did that not work out? Okay, so can I answer your question? Sure. Okay, one, Vic, it's a double standard, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Men can no. do it. You can, a, a woman cannot do what a man do. And two. No. Yes, 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 we can. Yes, we can. We can do it. We've been doing it. We are doing it. Let's stop that bullshit right now. Sorry, I'm a little antsy in my chair. I gotta keep shifting, but I'm so tired of this. Men can't do, women can't do what men can do. But then you'll sit there and talk about it. All right, let's go. Yes, we can. Okay, but let me say this. I know the detractors and the critics are gonna come for me because I have kids. One, my kids are grown. I have a 20. But at one point they no, weren't. But let, let me answer the question. I'll let you talk. Let me talk. You're right. I have two girls. I'm I have sorry. a 23-year-old and I have a 20-year-old. My oldest daughter has recently graduated from college on her way to grad school. Yes, Lord. My second daughter, she'll be graduating from college pretty soon. Right? Secondly, I've never been married. So what I can offer a woman is marriage. That's the biggest That's honor. Listen, hold up. <laughs> That's the biggest honor a man can No, she didn't. She said the biggest thing I remember is marriage. She said, that's it. <laughs> she said, that's it. Uh, Vic is my new superhero right now on this platform. She said, that's it. The biggest honor I can give a woman is marriage. Marriage. Me, which, me, which. A nigga kids. Did you not give another woman kids? So what happened with that family that you were building? Okay. Why did that not work out? Okay, so can I answer your question? Sure. Okay, one, Vic, it's a double standard, unfortunately. Mm, Men can no. do it. You can, a, a woman cannot do what a man do. And two. No. I yes, know, we can. Okay, but let me say this. I know the detractors and the critics going to come for me because I have kids. One, my kids are grown. I have a 20 But at one point they no, weren't. Her. But let, let me answer the question. I'll let you talk. Let me talk. You're right. I have two girls. I'm I have sorry. a 23-year-old and I have a 20-year-old. My oldest daughter has recently graduated from college on her way to grad school. Yes, Lord. My second daughter, she'll be graduating from college pretty soon, right? Secondly, I've never been married. So what I can offer a woman is marriage. That's the biggest That's honor. Listen, hold up. That's the biggest honor a man can give a woman is marriage. <laughs> yes, that is the biggest <laughs> offer I can offer a woman is marriage. Because you know why? Can't no woman ever said that I was married to them. So that would give that other woman bragging rights. He's such a picky. I have never been married. I have married nobody women. And uh, that gives you bragging rights because you could be married. Marriage. They do like it all for you. 
<laughs> she said that's it, and then she laughed in his face. <laughs> oh, Vic, 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 I love you so much. <laughs> that I've given you the biggest honor by marrying you. Uh, you're not what? just my baby mama, but you're my wife. And you can research my name. You will not see my name logged on any marriage license on, in all 50 states of America. Yes, and that's what it is. I'm so bringing the... marriage and I'm bringing my resources okay. to you. That's what I'm bringing. Resources and marriage. And I have receipts because I am successful. When my kids were born, I always had custody of my kids and I have receipts and my kids success shows it. So I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <clears throat> Ralph, do you have something to add? Go ahead. He thought he was cooking on the grill with some collard greens and some macaroni and cheese. <laughs> she, did you see the look on her face? <laughs> I don't know why this hit me so hard. <laughs> receipts and I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can offer marriage. <laughs> no, I'm not down in marriage. I'm <laughs> just saying. Oh Lord have mercy. You not just my baby mama. You is my wife. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He trying to dangle marriage over. See, I don't have a problem with marriage. I don't recommend it for a lot of people. <laughs> I don't. Because to be, to really be married and to to fulfill the promise of marriage takes some doing. And I understand why people don't last. Because marriage does two things for you. It tells you who you are. Actually, it does more than two things. But the most important thing is it's tell you, it tells you who you are and it tells you who you're not. And this dude, no. No, 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 no. Anywho. Yeah, I, I don't recommend marriage if you're an independent woman and you have your own life and you get involved with somebody and you know child you have children i wouldn't recommend marriage i don't think there's any need to it for a uh, need for marriage unless you're going to have babies together and you're planning a family and that's where i would suggest that's why i wouldn't recommend it because people don't plan their lives when they are married. They just jump into marriage and then, you know, think they're going to live happily ever after. And there is a happy ever after, but it's not the one that you think it's going to be. It's a lot of work involved and no guarantees. So that's why I laughed when he said, I have marriage to offer you, because that's an awful lot of work you know, uh, to bring somebody into your life. And, you know, if I don't need your resources and all that stuff, you, you're just, you know, you have to be worth it. And I'm glad that Vic is laughed in his face as a young woman because really you have to be worth the effort. If you're not worth the effort, it's, it's really no point. It's really no point. It really isn't. It, <laughs> That's why I laughed, cause is that she said, is that all? <laughs> yeah, because women can have so much more fulfilling lives without marriage. You know, you can still be in like a good relationship without marriage. It's good for the kids because it kind of protects them, but 
It's to the point where these men are dangling marriage over women's heads and women don't care anymore. They're like, yeah, okay. You don't have to get married. And now what? Well, <coughs> no, well, I'm, okay. He got them shocked down. You're not a single parent, so it's a little bit more harder. No, I'm not a single parent, but I grew up in a single household. Right. So I grew up without a father. I've always wanted a father. Mm -hmm. Right. Whether mine's or not, right. whether like blood or not. So I, I, always, I always wish that I had mm -hmm. somebody to mm -hmm. kind of like right. lace me up, right. guide me, because, you know, we mm -hmm. bump our heads a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't, I understand where you're coming from, what mm -hmm. you're saying, because you're like, and I get the whole thing, it's not my child, why mm -hmm. should I invest my time? Mm -hmm. But I'm saying like, for me, because I, I wanted that, mm -hmm. so I can understand from both, but I wanted that, that's not something I would, if I, if, if I meet a woman with children, mm -hmm. that's not a deal breaker for me. Right. Because when mm -hmm. I was in high school, I was dating a girl, I was out of high school with kids. Right. So yeah, she had one child, a son. Mm -hmm. But I love kids though. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's not like I don't look at it like I'm wasting my time. Or da da da. Because I always hear people say, "Well, if I did a woman with children, mm -hmm. one day her children is gonna tell me, denounce me, and say you're mm -hmm. not my father." Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yep. for me, I always look at it this way: it's a rite of passage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, yep. if we're bickering, mm -hmm. and I'm and I'm trying to give you the right things mm -hmm. to do, the right thing to say. The only way for you to hurt me or to 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 make me feel little mm -hmm. is by you to say, "Well, you're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do." Mm -hmm. and, and it's a, I call it a rite of passage. Mm -hmm. yeah. That that don't that wouldn't bother me. Right. But again, I'm speaking from me mm -hmm. not having a dad. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Something that I always wish I had. Right. So to me, that's not really a right. deal breaker. Mm -hmm. But I, I I'm not speaking for all men. I'm only speaking right. for myself. Mm -hmm. Right. And I also, wouldn't I wouldn't rock. I wouldn't right. do that. You know right. what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like. Just like you said, bro, it's not that it's a deal breaker, but me, just how I think, I think if a man is going to be dating a single modern mother, that single modern mother, that single modern uh, woman is uh, going to have to go above and beyond to show herself approved to that man. Uh, because why would that man select you when he could go out there and select a much younger woman? That it's not about the woman having to prove above and beyond to the man. It's the man who has to prove over and beyond to her. She's the one with the children that she has to be responsible for. And we just talked about this. You know, to uh, a man has to qualify to be in a woman's life because she has children. She has a home. She has an established life. And for you to come in there, you need to you need to mesh. You need to, you know, y'all need to be like-minded. And the child needs to like you and love you. And you need to be acceptable. Like, you have to do the work. The men have to do the work. When did the men get so damn lazy? Um, eat their volumes of film and books where, you know, the man liked the woman with the child, but he knew he had to be nice to the child because how you treat my child is how I look at you. Period. You, you're not going to tell me, no, uh, you know, I got to prove all this in order for you to like, no, no, that's ridiculous. What kind of backward thinking is this? Is this? Again, I ask, again, I ask, what demon is whispering in your ear in the nighttime? Because this is absolute absurd be That is childless. That's not going to bring the chaos to him. Because, like I said earlier today, who is to say what time the father of your kids are on? You get where I'm coming so from? So you're looking right, at that's safety. Only one, that's only one perspective that, that, we, that is a very important inspect, a very perspective, much. of course, but it's only one. So, like, even when you say me being, a, okay, I'm going to take myself, mm -hmm. me being um, someone I didn't grow with my father. Okay. Um, I, would I would hate if my mother had met men mm -hmm. with that mindset that mm -hmm. you just described mm -hmm. because the men that my mother and it was it wasn't a lot of men or whatever but mm -hmm. like my stepfather came along when i was like in fourth grade mm -hmm. i thank god for him every day mm -hmm. you understand like mm -hmm. it my father wasn't present in my life he stepped in and he did what no other man did mm -hmm. all the way through till i was all the way in college mm -hmm. they didn't get divorced until years later mm -hmm. and wow. that man saved my life in so many ways he was okay. so and we I mean, we did have fights. Mm -hmm. I mean, like teenagers, kids, you know, you got kids, you mm -hmm. know, kids say, your kids say crazy stuff to you. So just imagine what they're going to say to a stranger in the midst mm -hmm. of being upset. It's just, like I said, dog, like for so, me. But 
sorry, not to cut you off. So I'm just saying, you know, thank God for him because I, t I tell him all the time, if I had my father's out of prison now, if I get married, both of them have to walk me down mm -hmm. the aisle because he really raised me. Yeah. So that thought process is to me is just mind blowing and it's insane. The reason I don't mm -hmm. want to date people with kids, mm -hmm. I don't concern myself with what the kids may or may not say because mm -hmm. what you give a kid is what they're gonna give right. you back. And once they get to that age of teenage, we know teenagers, mm -hmm. so that's not even something to take personal. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting you to say because if mm -hmm. you don't say it, I think something ain't right, right. because that's no, but, what kids but, but, are gonna but say. But some kids, some kids won't say. It. Yeah. But again, if you do say it, it's like to me, it's like it's a hit or miss. I, it's like I'm gonna laugh at you, like yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Saying and I like this man. It's not gonna because I say I don't, I don't, I, I can't. You're not. A I can't say you wrong. I can't say you wrong. I can't say. All I'm saying is for me, I'm black, bro. So I only know how to be black. Right. And all I'm saying is, a lot of us we grew up fatherless. Right. Yeah. You know, and I think it's because we always talk about back in the days and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I think a lot of times, man, the difference with why back in the days was probably a lot better than today is because. A man, when he meets a woman, he didn't care how many kids she had. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? If he if he loved that woman like that woman, you know, you, you know, kids. it was all in. Yep. Mm -hmm. But it's different time, different but mindset. Can I piggyback off what you said? Let me that? finish. I'm, I'm gonna let you rock. Right. Go ahead. Now, so so like so I can only go yeah. off my experience. Like okay. I said, I always, I always wanted a dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never had one, but now I get to play one. Right. So get I get to be one. one. It's yeah, the I most important. Yeah, I get to be, and I love being a dad. And to me, I I don't look at a kid like that's mine or not mine. You know what I'm saying? I look at it like you a child mm -hmm. and, and you're with me, you're my child. Mm -hmm. No matter what. So, and I know it's going to come a time, mm -hmm. right? You're going to you, you're gonna go, oh, you're not my father. And I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. Mm -hmm. oh, you're right. I'm not your dad, mm -hmm. but I am your dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not your dad, but I am mm -hmm. your dad. And I could take whatever comes along and with that. And as a kid that been there, I can tell you, we mm -hmm. say that in that moment because we're mm -hmm. upset. We're teenagers. We're young. Mm -hmm. Our mind isn't fully formed. But I promise you, we come mm -hmm. back. And that apology is ten freaking fold because we understand. Mm -hmm. But as a kid, you can't expect kids to understand. Mm -hmm. But also, let me say this. Let me piggyback off what you said because you, you you mentioned You're talking like, about the time. Yeah, right the uh, piggyback off what you said. Okay, let me get let me get my shift on here because my leg is a little hurty, hurty, hurt, hurt. Oh, I broke my ankle a couple years ago, and. Uh, you know, every now and again, it gets nice and numb. So, here I go. Let's listen to the green, the, what's it, gray shirt. Times. Yeah. See, you have to understand. In those times, women used to honor men. You know, when a man came in and took over a family, that woman gave that man praise. Um, You know, just honor. Because in today's time that we're living in, being a stepfather is like basically being down. You know what I'm saying? Being, um down talked upon right because matter of fact i see it all the time where nobody's talking down on stepfathers except red pill men women are not talking down on them nobody's talking down on them except red pill and manosphere they shame men for being stepfathers it all started with that gross and disgusting wicked witch of the east with his kitten heels kevin samuel where um, modern single mothers would be like, oh, a man have to bring A, B, and C, and D to me. But this man that you created this family with didn't even have to pay the high, didn't have to pay that premium price. But who's to so, say that? No, it, it, it's, it's, it's going on. It's, it's omnipresent. So why does this man who is competitive, productive, has to come in and share his resources with you? For, for prime example, so if we do the Brady Bunch thing, right? If this woman have her kids, I have my kids, and we, we merge our family together, right? So every $100 that I spend within that household, 40% is going to go to your resources away from my biological kids mm. to give it to your kids. Who was to say? Wait a minute, dude. What the? By the time you get to the point where you are going to be a blended family, it's not my kids and your kids. It's our kids. If you're talking about the Brady Bunch, they were all sisters and brothers in their mind. So by the time you get to that point, they are already blended. They should be. What are you talking about? I got to give your kids 60%. What the heck? All right, let's finish it. 
say if those kids are going to appreciate me for what I'm doing for them, for being present, for being a father figure to them, right? At least I know if I have my own kids, my own biological kids, as long as I'm showing up for them, I'm taking care of them, I'm mentally present for my kids. At least I know when I become an old man one day, my kids are going to take care of me. I don't have. That's a damn lie. <laughs> That's a damn lie. That's a damn lie. First of all, there is no guarantee in parenthood, step or otherwise. There are no guarantees. You can raise those children, be present, and they still not be grateful, not love you, and not take care of you in old age. There is no guarantee. In fact, you don't know if they can take care of you in old age. So to sit here and make all these excuses for why you shouldn't be a stepfather or why you shouldn't date a single woman, a single mom, this is just absurd. Because what are you talking about? What guarantee do you have of anything? There are no guarantees. You know, mothers, single mothers, scrub floors. That's, that's in my time. I don't think anybody does that in this time. You know, to put the kid through school and the kid, <laughs> the kid doesn't even want to be bothered with the mother. I mean, there's reels of film, volumes of books. What are you talking about? What guarantee are you talking about? There isn't any. I have to worry about my kids telling me, oh, you ain't my daddy. Why do I have to listen to you? And also, too, we're bringing two families together. My kids may follow a certain set of rules. Your kids may follow a certain set of rules. So my kids could be like, daddy, why they, um, why they do such and such and such? Why can they do this? And... And because you have a set of roof from your kids, they're going to be like, damn, why can they do this and why can I do you're saying, that? You're saying the mindset could be yeah, different. Yeah, it can be completely different. Well, so that could confuse the kid. You get what I'm you get what I understand no, what you're saying. I, I, get, I get what you're saying. The mindset. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that. No, no. No, no. Listen, this is, this is not. This is pure it's not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get. Pity. But, but what I'm saying, I understand. No, it's not. It's, it's stupidity. No, no, no. It's basically. My kids telling me oh you ain't my daddy why do i have to listen to you and also too we're bringing two families together my kids may follow a certain set of rules your kids may follow a certain set of rules so my kids could be like daddy why they um why they do such and such and such why can they do this and and because you have a set of rules from your kids they're gonna be like damn why can they do this and why can i you're do saying, that you're saying the mindset could be yeah, different yeah it can be completely different so that could confuse the kid you get what I'm you get what I'm saying. No, no, I, 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 I get what you're saying I with the mindset. Understand. No, no, no. What I'm yeah. saying is that no no, 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 listen, this, this is not. Is... Let's give Vic her flowers. Come on, Vic, get your flowers. This is stupid. This is stupid. Why would you get with somebody who you don't have the same mindset? Vic got her flowers. Come on, Vic. Pure it's stupidity. Not, it's but, but I'm saying, I'm no, saying it's it. not. It's, it's stupidity. No, no, no. It's basically taking every reason you can think of in the book for no. why it wouldn't work. When you meet somebody and you're engaged with that person and you like that person in the in the beginning, yes, it may be a conflict of how you parent, how I parent. It, it's going to even if you didn't have kids, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. If I meet you and I start talking to you, how you live your life and how I live my life may be two completely different things over time we mesh right. over time you blend that makes no that's pure stupidity and, and guess what if it comes to the point where you guys can't agree on things it would never even get to the point that you even have to concern yourself with blended families because as women mothers i can't speak for all mothers but i can mesh or blend well uh -huh. with my kids and that doesn't mean i'm putting my kids before you that just means as, as i analyze this situation that we're in if it's not going to work it wouldn't get to that point where we even have to go to that but there is there are situations where you will blend just fine 
That means that that's for you. I have a favorite phrase I like to use. I use it all the time when I'm referring to just myself, when I'm referring to dating. And I say it all the time, people need to learn their lanes. When you know your lane, you're not confused. When you're dating people that are in your, I'm, I'm in the far left lane probably about 90% of the time. And it's quite often that I get guys that are in the, the far right lane, you know, that slow lane, mm -hmm. and somehow they made their way over to mine. And I don't understand how they got there or why they're there, they but want, they're there. They so want I, I have to redirect them because I know just off a of conversation, just off of one conversation could let me know. And I have to redirect you and say, hey, this just isn't your lane. I'm not sure how you got here, but I want to redirect you very respectfully. Mm -hmm. So I say that to say, again, it depends on you as a person, mm -hmm. because if you meet like minded. People, right, so chaotic. What's the likelihood of that? None. What's the likelihood of it? You attract what you want, what you like. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm only saying that just as, like I said, I had my daughter when I was 19. If you want to be honest, I had my daughter when I was 18 because she was born three days before my 19th birthday. Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing this single parent thing since I, I don't even know. I can't even tell you when it started. <laughs> this is here. Here we are. But I've never dated a person that didn't get it. Mm -hmm. I've never dated a person that I had to fight with you mm -hmm. about what you give your kids, what I'm giving. That's that's stupidity right there. All right, can I, uh, I, I no, before you, before you, before you. I, I what, I, what, what, I, what, I, what I was saying, I get was. I, the last part of what he said. About what? You know what I'm saying? When, when, when the last part I you cut said. you off too, I'm sorry. Boy, you cut me off because you I'm slashed sorry. me. Up. I had to get in there. Sorry. But, no, what I was agreeing <laughs> was the last part what he said. He's like, yo, like, he's saying, well, how am I, how would I know that a child is going to look out for me? Right? Mm -hmm. That's not my child. And like I said, again, I understand that part. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying, I understand. I'm saying, I'm saying I'm just, I understand the, the, his concern, his personal concerns. Mm -hmm. That those is are, a crazy concern. But that, those is. are his personal mm -hmm. concerns. I understand. But, what, what I'm saying, see? Because my opinion, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Saying? that's what I was saying. Yeah, okay. But like, because like, like, my opinion should not have dominion over anyone. No, else. but but for me, what I'm saying is for me, dog. Like I said, mm -hmm. I love. I'm a big kid, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I run around in my house. I play in the rain with my mm -hmm. son, bro. I run around, and, and it's not just because uh -huh. of my son. I would that with any kid, bro. Mm -hmm. I just love to have fun and be a kid. I'm a big kid, bro. I can't help it. Right. My wife get, get mad at me. You ain't like a child. I'm a child, bro. I like <laughs> love all kids. Right. So I, I don't I love I, kids. I'm not saying I don't love kids. I, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, 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 but yeah. for me, my mindset is not like mm -hmm. that's mine. That's not mine. I don't right. like it. Isn't even with adults, bro. Mm -hmm. Kids even more. Whatever mm -hmm. I got going on with my kids, if it's a kid, kids around me, mm -hmm. we all involved. Right. I don't, I don't, there's no distinguished. Right. If I'm eating, we, you know how we, mm -hmm. everybody we eating, eat. yeah, yeah. but that's just my, that's just how I am, bro. Like I'm very family orientated mm -hmm. yeah. and I love people and I love kids even more because they're so, they're innocent. Right. Correct. You know what I'm saying? And I look at it like, wow, I like, and, and I protect them the way I wanted to be protected. Right. When I was, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. That's just, again, that's my take. That's how yeah. I am. But, but let me make a point, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I'm speaking, why I'm, spe I'm speaking about what's going on in these recent times, right? And let me make Not another point. No man that is productive and competitive want to be restricted, right? I'm going to give you an example, right? Like, okay, I'm going to use you as an example. You're married, you have your wife, and you have your kids, right? Suppose that you get off from work, you want to go home, and you want to enjoy your wife, right? It's easy for you to come home, and if your kids are past their bedtime, it's easy for you to say, hey, son, and uh, uh, Janiah, and whatever, it's your son, uh, me and your well, mama, well, we got well, some things to well, take care of. Uh, it's time for you to well, go to your room. Princess Naya, Princess Shy, and Pop Pop. Right. It's <laughs> time for you to go to three, your room. Yeah, me three. and your mama got some things to handle. But if I'm a stepdad and I come home and I say something to those kids, if I say, hey, it's time for you guys to go to sleep, some woman, I'm not saying all, oh, some woman would take offense to it. They'd be like, well, why are you talking to my kids like that? You shouldn't tell them when they go to bed or not. What it happens all the time. So that's Where the reason why statistics come from. It, yeah, it's, he, it's happening. To who? <laughs> We're living in 2024. Come on now. Let's just well, not, I, I, well, let's not, not play crazy. First of all, if you coming in my house and you are speaking to my kids in a in a certain kind of way, I yeah, I'm going to be a little bit, you know, why are you talking to Junior like that? But we should already be in a situation where you have authority to say to kid, you know, all right, Junior, it's time for you to go to bed. You know, you should already be in a situation where that is 
uh you know amendable you're not going to be disrespectful to our child or to the child i don't even understand why this is a statement crazy like we don't know this is well really i think remember then we had the, the conversation we had when we had the dear mm -hmm. black woman episode mm -hmm. and i and i was saying that mm -hmm. i feel like a lot of times not just black men, but black women mm -hmm. as well. They don't do their due diligence. Mm -hmm. And what I meant by that is if I meet a woman, she has children. Mm -hmm. And me and her, we've become, because it's going to take time for mm -hmm. us to live together. Mm -hmm. And so I'm with, I'm with this woman, we're dating. Mm -hmm. And eventually we get more serious. Mm -hmm. And I would hope that she would see the way I treat her kids mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. love and admiration, mm -hmm. whatever. So that when we are living together, if I say, hey, it's time for everybody to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. right. I would hope she would know it's coming from a good place. Mm -hmm. She's not going to intervene. Because mm -hmm. as a man, she would understand like, mm -hmm. oh, we're going to go spend some time together. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what I would hope. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, for me, like, I, I haven't into anything. Yeah. The, right. the, the one time I ever dove into anything, mm -hmm. oof, I... <laughs> And, and, and for me to clear this up, bro, <laughs> let me make this clear. And when I'm speaking, I'm not talking about single traditional mothers. I'm not talking about those. There's I'm no not talking thing. about single traditional mothers. I'm talking about single modern mothers. But, but as a man, as a, as, as a man, okay, That's but, what I'm but as a person on. such as yourself, who's... There's, if you're a single mom, you are not traditional. There, there's no such thing. You're a single mom. You're not usually on the traditional track. So I don't know what he's trying. Modern single mom. Uh, there's there's no such thing. It was very mm -hmm. traditional. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no way you're gonna fall into that kind of situation mm -hmm. because you're tra you're traditional. Right. But I mean, the woman you're gonna be looking for is gonna fit that mm -hmm. criteria. Right. Right. So those those examples won't even mm -hmm. shouldn't even exist. This because in right. your mind you're gonna do your homework. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Like if like and I understand. But you're saying them or speaking them as yeah, if this v, is something why you that you let me finish. I had a good point going. Because you y'all, I've been letting y'all talk. No, but I had a good. I was trying to <laughs> go ahead. I was trying to make yeah. drive a point home. But go, go ahead. Go, ahead. No, 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 I, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because you're going. I'm gonna let you go ahead. Because again, I guess I'm listening as from a woman. So my responses to you are based upon what you're saying. So. It's like it's almost like um, productive mm -hmm. because you're saying one thing and then you're saying something else. So you're saying I'm speaking. I'm, I'm not speaking for. OK, so it make that's what makes it like a little bit difficult, because when you say these are happening right now mm -hmm. in these times, mm -hmm. I need statistics. I need data. I need mm -hmm. something to support that. And the reason I'm going to say that is because, again, when you say traditional, you're not talking about modern. Mm -hmm. It's. It's so tricky going into that area, right? Mm -hmm. right I consider myself not. to be a modern woman. Okay. However, I was mm -hmm. raised on traditional values. Okay. So it depends on how you would then categorize, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's your choice, what you see, how mm -hmm. you, and it, so on and so forth for every other man. Mm -hmm. So you understand what I'm saying? Like, so to say, okay. that's what's going on right now, I have to disagree. And I'm disagreeing because I am a modern woman. Okay. And I have modern friends that are single mothers that would completely wholeheartedly disagree with what you're saying. Right. I, I get your point, but let, me ask, but let me ask you this, Vic. So you don't think that a man that is productive and um, competitive, mm -hmm. taking on a pre-made family, so you're telling me that's a good thing? Yes. How, how, okay, let me ask you this. How are your kids are going to be an asset to me if I was dating you? I would never date a man that ever asked me no craziness like that. Uh, see? I would never. All right. Let's give Vic her flowers. She needs double flowers. Vic, 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 Vic. I hope more women, young women, have the common sense to do what Vic did. Don't even talk to them. Don't even talk to them. There's no need to talk to them. There's nothing to say. Once those silly questions come out of their mouth and you're eating the dinner, get the dinner to go and leave this person alone. Block them from your phone. Run away from them. Run as far as you can. Get an Uber. Don't let him take you home. Just do not bother with this person. Because this is, that mind is not right. These are the type of people who sit there and read the Bible and never understand a word that came out. Of, they don't understand. They can't comprehend. it. Good for her. This is why I wanted to share it with you. This was the viral moment that was going around. I would never talk to somebody 
who would talk to me like that? What do my children provi- provide for you? What are they supposed to provide for you? What the hell are you talking about? What do you mean, asset to you? What kind of, what do you mean? I wish somebody would come in there and say, your children are not an asset to me. You, you better get out of my face. That's what you better do. But because you would problem. never ask me how my kids would be an asset to you. That's the thing. That's insanity. But see, I'm coming from a logical no. standpoint. I, you have I don't to ask think those questions. Any woman and let, and let me say one more is thing. gonna let you say, "How can your kids be an?" No, no, sweetie, no. no. It's the truth. No, no. it's not I because if we're talking about listen. we're living in a world. Uh-huh. No, no, because we're talking about living in a world mm-hmm. where you're you you're constantly putting a male on this. Path pedestal and you're forgetting that this is not the old days mm-hmm. so right now at this point there are a lot of men that sit on a pedestal mm-hmm. but baby their pedestal is way way beneath that woman's I- i'm not done okay, so, so when you say what can you bring to the table mm-hmm. i feel like that goes both ways these yeah, days mm-hmm. traditionally back in old days Mm-hmm. women couldn't bring that much we didn't have that much we right. weren't able to accomplish right. as much right. but we have come very very far right. mm-hmm. and i'm going to say that as a single mother myself yes. mm-hmm. that a lot of men cannot even sit at the table with me if i'm being honest and i okay. still give them a seat i still push the seat open for them to sit down and show me what they can bring to the you table for me that, mm-hmm. because i i know mm-hmm. intellectually i know financially mm-hmm. i know on a, a thousand different levels they don't even meet me halfway mm-hmm. So when you make a statement like that, again, like I said, I'm a single mother. Mm-hmm. I'm a modern woman. Mm-hmm. I have so many friends across, not just in Florida, not this mm-hmm. is not Miami. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about friends, period. Mm-hmm. And they're single mothers, but they bring a lot to the table. And for a man to ever ask me what my kids could do to benefit him, mm-hmm. he would never even speak to me again. All right, but let me ask you this question, Vic. So do you want a man to come in there and share his resources with your kids? I have a question. No, no. I, I have to counter it. I no, have to counter answer, it. Just answer it. I need He's yes sharing no. it. it does, I need do I want yes. him to come in and share his resources with Wait. my children? Yes or no? I'm asking. I'm trying to get clarity okay. on a question. If you're dating a man. What is the resources that he's sharing with my children? His finances. Because, I don't need them. Vic, Vic, that's cap. I don't care what you say, Vic. Listen, Vic. I don't care. If a man is dating. I'm so tired of men. Every time they ask a woman a question. They get up here and they tell a woman, oh, that's cat. Why is it cat? Because I said it? She doesn't need your money. She just told you that women don't need things the way, money the way, or resources the way they used to need them in the old days. So I don't even know what's cap about this. She already told you. I don't need them. She laughed in your face when you said, I can offer marriage. So, I mean, like, what are you missing here? What are you missing? You must be missing something because she just told you. She already knows that the men are on the pedestal and the pedestal doesn't even meet her halfway. She just told you that. And you're going to sit here and tell her, oh, but you still want the money. Why? He doesn't need the money. If she's a single mom and she's paying all her bills and taking care of her children, what good are you? And see, these men like him can't comprehend that they have to be more than just money. You have to be a person. You have to develop your mind. You have to develop a personality. You have to be somebody that I can look at and respect and say, oh, yes, I am happy for you to be in my life. Men have to learn to be wanted. Jesus. And then he's going to tell her what she, I saw another podcast where the woman was saying some things about money and the man said, oh, that's cat. And the woman is like, no, it's not. Why do they do that? Because, oh, I know why. Because it changes their, their narrative. Because uh, if, the, if, if uh, women don't want your money, then that whole narrative about women being gold diggers and being uh, hypergamous 
falls down the crapper. That's why. That's why. So they have to insist that you're lying about money. Ugh. A woman at some point in time, Vic, a woman Let's is going to it. want a man to share his finances mm -hmm. in the household. Yes. So you telling me you're gonna sleep, you're gonna lay up there, you're gonna date a man, you're gonna sleep with that man, and you ain't gonna ask that man to contribute his finances. So here's the, here, here's the here's the kicker. I find that oh, to be oh, oh 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 oh. First of all, if we together, right, and you coming up in my house. You better offer some money. I better not have to ask you any damn thing. You better offer it. Otherwise, you'll be a 4F. Do you know what a 4F is? I find you, feel you, the F you, and forget you. That's five, actually. That stands for bye-bye. See you later. It's been nice knowing you. Close the door softly. I don't want to chip in my paint. No, you're not going to come up here and eat. What kind of man would even discuss going to a woman's house, living with her, and not paying his at least his fair share? What kind of man would you be? I know. I just said the four F club. It's hard to understand. Here's the kicker. That is cap. I'm sorry. Here's the kicker. Cap. Here's the kicker, and we're gonna clear it up. I never said I would expect a man to come in and share his finance. Not share his finances. Mm -hmm. I never said that. That's his resources. I ne under okay, if that's mm -hmm. all, that's all the resources he has, that's problem number one. We're gonna start. No, no, oh, that's girl. definitely problem that's number his resources. one. Resources. That's not enough for me. How so again. Up? It's not you're talking about modern women, mm -hmm. and you're talk you're you're sitting in front of a woman that makes mm -hmm. well over six figures a year. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna tell me that a man can step mm -hmm. through that door mm -hmm. and tell me what can your kids do for me? Okay. No, baby, what can you do for this household? Because this household runs effortlessly okay. without your finances. Okay, so if so, the expectation would be if mm -hmm. you're stepping through this door. Mm -hmm. Why would you step through my door and you're not oh, able to Vic, provide okay, any resources? Vic, okay, Vic, listen, Thank I don't you. care if you make Thank six you. figures. You know why? Because oh, at man. the end of the day, your six figures is for you. You would never share it with me. At the end of the why day... Why would you think listen, that? But Vic, listen. At the, at the end of the day, your food, six figures is for you and you would never share with me. It depends. And yes, my sister, it is for me. I mean, do you really think that you're going to come in and ease on down the road and just slide on into the house and and get all this I'm the man of the house I want to be I want to be able to say to the children go to bed uh, I want authority and respect and submission come on dude come on jeez talk about unrealistic expectations talk about delusions was, wasn't there a song called Delusion? Delusion. Dun, 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 delusion. Dun, dun. Oh. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh, Lord. You're not going to share it with me. If we are paying, if we are blending, then I expect you to pick up some of the expenses. I don't expect you to think you are going to live in a house for free. They got that hobosexual mentality, see? <laughs> you know what is funny? When men have money, it's always their money. I, you want my resources. You want my resources. But if the woman has money, then they all of a sudden say, it's ours. You ever notice that? It's our money. We bought this house. We drive this car. It's like, mm, no, I had this house before you. I was driving this car before I met you. We don't do anything. You know what I mean? Why is it? Have you ever noticed that? 
put it in the comments. Tell me how much if you've noticed it. You know the the shift in the in the conversation. You know. Oh well, is, is you want my money? Sign a prenup. But if it's your money, oh, it's us. We have all these credit cards. We went shopping. We have this home. I told my wife not to hire anybody to put that in there. So we can have a savings account. Hmm. Interesting. At the end of the day, whether you make six figures or not, you will still want a man to come through there to take over the finances, Why? to take that burden off your shoulders. Don't give it to Vic. Every woman wants that. No. So when I hear women say that they're not looking for a man to share their resources, that is cap. If I, if also, I, let me finish making another point. No. This is another that. risk. Listen, Ralph, let me uh. make this one final point. This is another risk of a man that is competitive and productive that's getting into a situation where he's dealing with a pre-made family. He's Who is competitive and productive. I'm competitive with women, and I'm productive to move into her house without paying no bills. Yeah, okay. I'm so tired of this. I'm, I'm tired of the conversation. To say, if I was to marry you, and, I, and you divorced me, you will go to the courthouse and put me on child support for the next 18 years for kids that don't even belong to me. As a matter of fact, actually, those are only in a few states. And there is a time limit. I think it's the first two years or something like that. After that, you don't have to pay child support for a child. Uh, that is not a necessary thing. So I don't know what he's talking about. They love these stories, these wild ass stories. My God. I'm not saying that there isn't paternal fraud or whatever, but I'm saying, like, come on, dude. How are you going to take one? So sign a prenup. If you got all that money and you got all these resources, sign a prenup. It's that simple and that profound. Sign a prenup. You don't know if the children of yours get a blood test. Squash it. Make sure that everything is written out clearly and distinctly and then you don't have to worry about paying child support to a child that isn't yours look at them they they they're already abandoning kids that don't even have the character and if i'm not married to you if i've been dating you for a substantial amount of time depending on what the state you can still go and put me on child support for mm -hmm. 18 years for kids that are not mine so mm -hmm. to close it off a man uh, a, a productive man that's dating a single modern baby mom in this generation that's a that's a lose-lose situation mm. and i'm gonna end it like that i'm just i i really i don't have much i don't have much to add the only thing i can say is i hate men that have you have encountered one way or another no, not personally not personally mm -hmm. um one way or another mm -hmm. i i hate that for mm -hmm. you i hate that for your friends i hate that for anyone that you know mm -hmm. because that is not reality that is not the reality that we're living in mm -hmm. that is actually a bubble in which we choose to put ourselves in i'm going to go back to my statement that there are lanes and when mm -hmm. you i learned when i stay in my lane and i don't allow people that don't belong in my lane in my lane mm -hmm. i don't have any of those problems that you're referring oh, to okay. not one let me ask you this one question vic in the animal kingdom when a lion takes over, i don't care about that no no you have to because it's still nature right when a lion take over a pride right what does that male lion does to those cubs of the other pride that he Nobody took cares. over what does that line do? would you so, rather have been a lion no i'm just i'm going to i'm going i'm a human I'm just, okay Okay, you know what that line would do? That line would kill those yeah, cubs. Yeah, I'm because, a human. You know what? Well, I understand you're human, human. But I'm saying that because by nature, men... First, we're compared to items on the shelf. And now we have to be compared to animals. You know? What is wrong with you? What kind... Nobody lives like lions, dude. We we don't live in the Serengeti. We live here in the Western world, inside buildings and stuff with heat and, and air conditioning. Like we are human beings. We walk on two legs. Oh, this is almost over. This is almost over.
we are territorial we don't we do not want to deal with we don't want to we don't want to take on pre-made families all right all right let, all let, let me intervene <laughs> my brother speaking generally about mm -hmm. the man that he represents mm -hmm. you speaking about the women you represent mm -hmm. now no i'm not single so i'm right. not mingling <laughs> You know that girl. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm gonna say this for the brothers like me, because it's different brothers, different mindset. Yeah. Like I say, for me, bro, it don't matter. Okay. But like I say, but that's your mindset. That's your mindset. For me, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. For me, if I like a woman, I like a woman. Right. If I if yeah. the woman has kids, she has kids. That kids, no kids, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. Cause it is what it is, bro. Cause if, if you meet a woman, if that's a deal breaker, then I don't know, bro. Mm -hmm. You might be missing out on a blessing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, those are not your kids. You're right. You want your own. You can still have a blended family mm -hmm. with her, mm -hmm. and you can still help her with mm -hmm. the kids if you want to. If mm -hmm. not, I'm not a judge. I'm not a jury, bro. I can't tell nobody what to do. I know for me, as a black man, bro, who grew up fatherless, mm -hmm. I wanted a father. I would have I loved you. to have a dad. And and maybe that's why I didn't have one. Mm -hmm. Maybe a lot of the black men probably think like how you said, mm -hmm. though, like, why would I waste my money mm -hmm. or on a person that's not my kid? Mm -hmm. And I get it, but I don't share that. And I'm I, speaking in general. And I'm saying, yeah, and I'm saying in general. And for me, I don't share that. For me, That's bro, I love general. kids. Mm -hmm. Mine's are not. Even I have a wife now. And mm -hmm. if and I'm saying, you know, you bring your son. I don't, I'm not gonna say, oh, he's not. Mm -hmm. I don't, bro. I don't care, bro. Mm -hmm. Kids are kids. Let's have fun. Come on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a big kid. I'll run around. You know, I don't care about that, bro. Like for me, I, I've never. I think God. I don't think like that. I don't. I don't view life like that. Mm -hmm. Because everybody deserves some type of sunshine. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you think about a kid growing out a father, and, and not to say the woman can't raise a child, but I'm mm -hmm. saying, you think about a, a, a kid growing up without a father, that's like rain pouring on you 24-7. And mm -hmm. I'm talking about even from an emotional standpoint, because mm -hmm. you're missing something. Yes, so when, once a man enters that child's life, it's like sunshine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I, I, know, I know what you mean. The child going to be like, you're not my dad. Mm -hmm. And like I say, bro, it comes with that territory, bro. Mm -hmm. It comes with, it's a rite of passage. And I expect you to, I want you to do that. Because right. that lets me know, okay, you're becoming a man. Mm -hmm. This is the only way you think you can hurt me. Because yeah, yeah. you, you, you know you can't hurt me. Yeah, yeah, any other way. So. <laughs> For me, man. And that's one of my one of the things my stepdad said to me. He's mm -hmm. like, I didn't care about that. <laughs> no, because it's a right, it's like, a right of passage. I knew you were gonna do that. I didn't care about that. It's a right of passage, man. And I, like I said, I can't tell no I can't tell no man how to feel. But as a black man, I think because we're so far behind the A ball mm -hmm. and so many of our women and so many of our children. Children that grew up in growing up in situations where the father may be in prison mm -hmm. or dead or not in the household. I don't think we should think like that. I think mm -hmm. we need to be more together, bro, mm -hmm. and help yeah. each other. If you love a woman, I'm not telling you go take a woman with seven, seven, twenty kids. Right. I'm just saying if she got a kid or two, mm -hmm. and you like, you know, you really like her. Mm -hmm. She's a great person. She have a great mind. Mm -hmm. So, but what? you know what, bro? There are some good single um, mothers. There are. I'm not yeah. saying. Well, I'm just. I'm gonna end it because I don't want to hear no more. He has to say about single mothers or anything else but anyways tell me what you think in the comments uh the video is uh change tomorrow today the Ch change tomorrow today podcast and the episode was dating as a single parent i thought it was a fairly funny and um entertaining conversation uh i look forward to hearing your thoughts on it like please if you like it share and subscribe i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video until then bye